So the first step to this uh, procedure is to make sure that we get good quality bone graft. So we're over here at the uh, pelvis. So we're at the iliac crest, which is just the side of your, of your hip area. And we're going down and that's where we're gonna get our autologous bone graft. So we're gonna get a few pieces because that's where it's gonna go to the non-union site so that we can get good healing. So we just finished taking all the bone graft that we needed. So we got a good amount. Uh, this is again, uh, some uh, cortical cancellous bone. This is really critical when we're dealing with non-unions because this is what's really gonna help uh, support that non-union so that it can heal. So we're just gonna close this side up and then uh, move on to the next step. This next step is now to take out the old nail that's inside. This is actually an old precise nail. Uh, we're gonna take it out and exchange it with a new stride nail. Uh, but right now we're just cleaning up the, uh, uh, the entry site for the nail where it went in from the hip. Uh, so we can take it out the same way it came. So we just finished taking out all the screws. This was the last screw uh, that came out at the end of the nail. So now we're gonna back out the nail and then we're gonna start the uh, healing process of the uh, non-union site. So this is the old nail uh, that we just took out. Um, so this was the old precise nail. It still looks good and looks like it's intact. Uh, we're probably gonna test it to see if it still distracts or not. But regardless, we're gonna use the uh, new stride nail. So we opened up the non-union site, we freshened it up, we cleaned it up. So now we're gonna make our new osteotomy site because this, this leg is still short. Uh, so we have to make a new osteotomy site. So basically we wanna repair that non-union, make a fresh brand new osteotomy site so we can lengthen from there. Uh, so hopefully we get new fresh bone there and get his length back. We're at the point where we need to make our new osteotomy. So that's where we're at. We're gonna complete that osteotomy and then put in the uh, new nail. So what we're doing right now, go ahead. We're actually uh, quickly turning out the uh, stride nail. This is the new one. You can see it's very big, strong, uh, because we have to bring the canal a little bit bigger. So now we're lengthening it out very quickly so that when we put in the screws distally, then we could compress, and uh, that's also gonna help heal the non-union site. So that's what we're looking for here. So the new stride nail is out to length. So now we're gonna put that in. We're gonna lock it all up and then we're gonna compress. That's gonna help with the healing process. We just finished compressing that nail. So it went to a point and then that's it. It's not gonna compress anymore. So now we're uh, really good, well compressed at the uh, non-union site. So now we're gonna lock that place, put in the bone graft and be done with it. So this is a very important part of this uh, case. So we just finished putting in the locking plates and compressing at the non-union site. So now we're gonna add the bone graft that we took from the iliac crest. So this is the stuff that's gonna really help bind everything together. This is very, very powerful stuff to help heal that bone. So we're gonna crush it up, maybe mix it in with a little bit of uh, demineralized bone matrix as well to add a little bit more because we wanna make sure that this completely heals.